Last example, and then we're going to practice. All right, we're going to make factor trees for 54 and 36. So I need a volunteer who can raise their hand and give me a factor for 54. Give me a factor pair for 54. What times what is 54? The two numbers that multiply to 54. Hi, Daniel, go ahead. Yep. Okay, how about nine and six? That's the first thing I thought of too. Okay, now, Daniel, why did I, can you help me out here? Why did I not put either of those in red? Because neither of them are prime numbers. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Sean typed it into the chat. He said three times three. Okay, is three prime? Hopefully, yeah, I see some of you shaking your heads. Yes, hopefully you're recognizing that it is because it's over here in the chart. So I'm going to circle it. Okay, volunteer to give me a math fact for six. Math fact for six. Guys, we have all of our branches. So we have three times three times two times three. If I want to put it in order, I would write two times three times three times three. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other number, 36. All right. So 36, the first thing that I think of is six times six. Six is not prime, so I'm going to keep going. I will get that both are three times two, and notice both of those are prime. So I list my common factors. All right. So now for the last part, after you make your factor trees, look for what they have in common. Raise your hand if you can tell me what these two lists have in common. What factors do both lists have in common? Because once we find those, we can multiply them together. That will give us our GCF. All right, so Talia, what do you see? Help us out here. All of it's in common. Okay, let's take it one number at a time here. So help me out here, Talia. Okay, so there's a two in common. Is there a two in common here? Yes, right? All right, now come over here, Talia. I have a three. Is there a three that matches up with this over here? See how that three matches up with that three? Okay, now I'm gonna use a different color. There's a three. That three matches up with that three. Okay, so does everybody see how we're left over with a three and two and those don't really match? Does that make sense? So what's in common? We had a two and a three and another three. Who can raise their hand or unmute themselves and tell me, what do I do to those numbers to get my answer? Multiply them. Okay, awesome, we're gonna multiply. So two times three is six and six times three is? Somebody help me. 18. 18. Okay, if you like the visual with the um, <clears throat> Venn diagram, we can see that we end up with the same answer. Multiply those together to get 18. Okay, so again, two different methods, you guys, and we're going to practice a couple in a minute here. One is using factor trees and finding what's in common, multiplying them together. The other is making a list of all of the factors and seeing what the greatest one is. So whichever strategy you prefer.